Gary, you're, it's, a, it's another home defeat. Just first and foremost, how would you assess the game? Um, done reasonably well first half. Second half, uh, once we conceded, uh, it was the same old, same old. Um, and it could have, it could have been possibly three at the end. But um, yeah, bitterly disappointed, as you can imagine. What was, what was said at half time? It just seemed like the two different sides come out, didn't it? We were, we were certainly in the ascendancy first half, and then second half we've we've let Gateshead, who showed their quality, mm -hmm. let them play, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. No. You're right in what you're saying. Two different halves. Um, to put your your finger on it is very very difficult. But game uh, goals change games, and uh, we couldn't find a way back into the game. And um, you know, credit to Gateshead. They uh, they performed well second half, but uh, we didn't. Uh, Luke, how did sort of brush on it earlier in his interview just before this that once that first goal went in, there wasn't a sort of a reaction that, that he was happy with to want to get back in the game. Mm -hmm. Was yeah. that something you could agree with? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd agree with that. There has to be a response. There has to be a reaction. There has to be some pride. There has to be care. You know about this current situation that we're in, uh, and you have to show that it's all right talking about it. Uh, I can talk until the, the cows come home, but it's about how your what your actions are on the field of play, and uh, they weren't there today. And you're certainly struggling for goals as well. And there's another game where the teams got a clean sheet against us. Their keepers has made a couple of saves in the first half. Is it a confidence thing that's affecting our four player at the moment? We just can't seem to be putting these chances to bed because Coley hasn't had to make a lot of saves again today, has he? No, um, but we're conceding. I know we had two clean sheets, but we've conceded far too many goals this year. Not scored enough goals, so it's both ends of the pitch. Um, no, I've just told you what it is, um, and really it's un unacceptable. And you know, the games are running out. And say so games is. I know you very much one game at a time, man, but it's the longest way trip of the season coming up mm -hmm. and we got team challenging for the title. We were coming here for the, for the next, I think, three out of five games. Mm -hmm. Is that a challenge that, one, should they motivate the players where the games they would be written mm -hmm. off in and, two, get, I guess, excite everyone, want, want to prove everyone wrong? As soon as you walk onto the pitch, that should be motivation enough, really. Um, we players got a, a wonderful opportunity. They play at a very decent level. Um, they got the, uh, the contract of professional footballer. So for me, you have to then back it up with performances and results, and we're not doing that. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity, but it runs out. It actually runs out, whether it's you're coming to the end of your career in terms of age, or your contract runs out. At some point, it comes to an end. And if you haven't performed when that's running out, you have got a major problem. And do you think, um, another question I touched on with the players I interviewed, do you think that the pressure is, is getting to maybe some members of the squad being in a relegation fight? You only bring pressure upon yourself. Uh, you know, we had pre like you pressure. Pressure is pressure. trying to put food on your table and, you know, going, going into battle. Um, you know, overseas, and that's pressure. We're, we're, we're playing a football match, and you should be enjoying playing that and have that, you know, enjoyment of going out there and battling away to get a win and a result. Um, and the challenge ahead is to try and get us out of, you know, the relegation zone that we're in. And if that's pressure, wow, it's far, far more important things in life and in this world uh, that bring pressure upon yourself. Playing a football match for 95 minutes. I'm not so sure that's uh, too much pressure. Can we go to the team selection today as well? Um, we have Meds back who recovered very quickly from a nasty looking injury against Halifax and Shamir was back on the bench too. I know there was no man you know McDonald today, are they both injured? Yeah, both injured too. And um, was it good to have Meds back after so quickly? I say it did look like a nasty Well, we thought he, he could have been out for a long time, so yeah, he made a, a, a quicker recovery than we thought. But, um, you know, whatever way we turn at the moment, we're getting, we're getting knocked back. So uh, you have to stand up to the challenge, front it out, uh, be strong when things are going against you. 
um, and when you enter the field of play, stand up to the challenge that's, uh, that you're facing. Um, I just said that to the players there. You have to, you have to do that. Now both the players I just mentioned before are they out long term, or is it the case where they'll be back soon? And again, you got quite back to how we started the scene. You got a full pool of players to choose from, and maybe where you aren't performing, you might have played before when we had the injuries, and now I guess there's no room for that error. Yeah, but we're running out of games, and these players that are coming back uh, from injury are not match fit either. So we might have them in body. Uh, and be able to select them, but they're not match fit, which is an added problem, but hey, that's my problem. Is it um, going ahead to Barrow, I guess it's a long trip, it's the longest one of the season. In terms of the squad, would there be many changes? I know it's quite well, some might make this. the trip, that's for sure. Some might make it, because we've got uh, enough players now that I can leave players out the uh, the team, the squad and stuff like that. So we've got games coming up on Tuesday and Friday with the under-21s and some of them players will play in that. Um, and it's quite easy now for me to say you, <laughs> you've got to try and earn the shirt. Because um, we have to show some pride um, and we have to show everybody that we care about the situation. You know, um, that's vital now for, a, for me and they all do. But it's all very well talking about it. We've got to go now and show that we actually care. And you know, based on today's performance, do you think there would be changes next week? I don't know. You just asked me half an hour after a game that I'm bitterly disappointed about. So uh, and, uh, give me some time to think about it. And I guess uh, I know you don't. We can only control our controllables, but fans will be looking at other results today and see we have fallen a bit further back. Um, does that make the task at hand, I guess, a bit tougher? To Certainly, want to rather players up and say, hey, "Look, we are running that games. The gaps." Well, I know that anyway. <laughs> They've been reminded about that for the last few months, so it's not a case of now. Um, but as I said to you before, it's we can't control what other teams and clubs are doing. We have to get our results right. And okay, apart from the last two um, today, we didn't get it right. And I guess looking at today's opponents the week they've had and they've had a season full of adversity where they've had their own off the field problems is that like something for our players to, to take inspiration from because look at the season they've had with the problems they've had oh you've got to give them great credit for what they've achieved you know with the, the problems that they've had and you know good luck to them uh, but you know we have to take care of our club and at the moment uh, it's been it's been very difficult okay well thank you for your time Gary. thank Cheers. you